everybody. I'm Tom Vassell, and welcome to What's Happening Monday morning. This is the only What's Happening that's going to happen this week because all the rest of the different uh, events that will be playing this week on my app most likely will be happening through Dice Tower Virtual or Virtual Gaming Con with Board Game Geek and Dice Tower. And so I hope you're coming for that. We're going to be playing games not just with me. In fact, most games won't be with me. All different people playing through Tabletopia, Tabletop Simulator, the iPad, Zoom, etc. So that's going to be fun, but that starts on Wednesday. So if you still haven't want, haven't signed up for it, you still can. It'll be going through Wednesday through Sunday. Um, as it is now, though, it's a normal day of sorts. Lots of things we're doing today. Um, but from the Dice Tower itself, it's going to be a pretty sedate day. This is the main thing we're doing live until our chat later tonight. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be posting a lot of videos, including a review of Tech Kenu. Um, and also, crowd surfing is happening tomorrow. Instead of Wednesday, normally crowd surfing is on Wednesday, but the virtual con starts on Wednesday, so we're moving crowd surfing up a day. And Corner to Corner is also happening tomorrow with Rado. So there's a couple of live things going on tomorrow. And uh, then we'll be doing se several live things throughout the week on this channel, but they'll be all tied to virtual con. So good morning to everybody. Today we're taking a look at Tides of Times. This one has been provided for us by um, uh, Portal Games. Portal Games has provided this one and the Imperial Settlers roll and write. So I'm most of these so far. Every uh, app I went and found myself and purchased myself. But if companies send them to us for review, they'll probably move to the front of the queue and we'll take a look at them. This is an older game, Tides of Time. So you can see here it's asking me to enter my name. So, I went to my name, but for Tide to Time, it has to be like some weird name. So, we'll call myself Tom Vess. Sounds like a future name, right? Hmm. A normal day is relative. Oh, yeah, I know for sure. Uh, just let me know, folks, if the sound effects, there's like music and stuff involved in this one. So, if the sound effects are throwing you off or they're too loud, let me know. And I'll make them softer. So we got quick play, hot seat, and rules. I guess we'll just do quick play. Do you want to start the tutorial? Well, why not? Yes, please. You can press and hold the card to see its details. Across the top of each card, starting from the left, you'll find its suit and ability, which can be a scoring objective, like in this case, release it to the middle of the screen to build it. All right, so this one says for each set of blue and green, I'll get five points. You can always cancel yes. the last choice by clicking there on the left. Once you're sure about your decision, press the arrow on the right. In this tutorial, follow my guts. Is that cuts or guts? That's a weird G. My guts and guidance. Why does my mentor look like a possessed evil little girl? This is definitely an Ignacy thing. Your opponent builds something at the same time. Each time you build, you exchange the remaining cards for your opponent. So it's like kind of like a drafting game. Um, now that you have new cards, let's play another one. This time, play the roof of the world. Sure. Even though the roof doesn't have a suit, it has an ongoing ability. It doubles the amount of whichever suits you have the most of. That might create a cool combo. Man, the graphics in this are really nice. Even the evil little possessed child. The old man's pass ability won't give you any benefits right now, but you can play it to deny your opponent some victory points since they have the required suit already. Let's go with that. Sure. Denying your opponent ways to score victory points is also crucial in this game. You can track players' objectives and the suits they possess below their portraits. Ah, that's convenient. I wonder if they're like always in the same place and there's like a specific spot for each building. Now play the Citadel of Prophets and keep your fingers crossed your opponent won't pick the last two green garden suit from the remaining two cards. Okay. 
I think this is like one of the least needed tutorials that you have. We got lucky. Golden Ziggurat came back to you. I hoped it would. With this, let's enjoy our fantastic combo. Because we only have a single copy of each suit, each of them got doubled. That means we got two library and garden sets for 10 victory points. Two gardens also score six points, and a majority in library scores another seven. Oh, that's really cool. They have those connections there. I like that a lot. That's pretty neat. Graphics in this are phenomenal. I scored a lot of points that round. 23 to 3. Choose a relic. Between eras, we get to choose a relic, a building that will stay with us until the end of the game and increase our scoring chance. Let's take Sky Pillars. After that, we get to remove one of the cards from the game entirely. The roof of the world's tricky, and I think we should avoid that risk. Wow, that's cool. I really like the graphics in this one. That's fantastic. Let's focus on different suit sets. Pick the mana well. It works great with our sky pillars. Got it. And once I play this for real, folks, I'll take more time looking at this, you know, trying to run. We're missing both the palace stronghold suits to gain nine victory points. So let's play the eternal palace. All right, and I'm just kind of doing what it says. Wow, those connections are fantastic. That really makes the game better. I think this could be up in the running for the most, most beautiful app, of uh, board game-wise, anyway. I just want to see what happens. Got it. So that's what happens when I re... I just want to see how undoing would work. The vestibule. All right. However, your opponent's doing pretty good as well. Right now, your time victory points with the Sapphire Port. We can't lose. This mana well worked amazing. Let's keep that as another relic. Man, I just want to look at my... Their, 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 their town is beautiful, but mine is beautiful -er. Look at that. Look at those things all connecting to each other. So pretty. Then we choose another relic, the mana well, and the sapphire port. So you keep two relics for the next stage. Man, them fading in the dust is a neat concept. Yeah, so for those of you who are just tuning in and seeing what's going on, I'm just kind of, at this point, I'm just kind of mindlessly pressing the buttons going through the tutorial. <coughs> I'll check out each of the different um, things. If I haven't said it to all dads out there, happy Father's Day from yesterday. My kids got me a mug that said, happy Farter's Day, and Farter was crossed out and said, Father... I also got a shirt, which I'm wearing underneath this. You can't see it, but it says, I don't need Google. I have a daughter. So, and then a bunch of cards. Very nice. They made me breakfast. And if there's one day to be the father of six daughters, it's, it's on Father's Day. I'm not even reading what's going on. 
It's explaining how the points work, but we'll figure that out as we play them. Woo! I gotta say, all these different... Look at that! You can get an extra six victory points. Yeah! Nice! So the thing about Tides of Time, if you play it actual in person, it's just a small deck of cards and everyone you play the same deck of cards over and over again there's also a sequel to it called tides of madness which is the same thing but there's some cthulhu -ish involved i actually actually like tides of madness better myself but i have to tell you this is one of those apps that is already making me go why would i ever play the actual game this is so pretty Ninety to fifty in your face. I won. <clears throat> Those must be achievements. All right, so let's play a quick play here. I'm gonna play against the easy guy first, which his name is John. Oh, it's a little boy, I guess. All right. All right, so now we're playing for real here instead of me playing what they have. So let's take a look at what we got here. It says, the majority of that, I get seven points. For the majority of suits with only one card, get eight. I win all ties. I like that. Majority in red, gain seven. And for a set of each, gain 13. Hmm. I think I'm going to take the mole hill here. So that gives me a majority of suits where there's only one card. Let's hope there's a lot of suits with only one card. Let's see what John's going to play. For each set of yellow, red, and purple. Hmm. Over to me. For sky scoring the highest with a single card. This gives me a for each green. These are all the same. Well, I know there's more... I know there's purples. Let's hope he doesn't build that purple. I'm going to do this one. That gives me three points for a purple. And what a John pick. Don't build the purple. Yes. He has the for majority of purple gets seven points, but I'm going to take that purple right out from underneath him. That's the next card I'm taking, hands down. Oh, there isn't a purple. For the majority in red, gain seven points. I guess I'll do that. I think I have the most red currently. For each red, gain three. <laughs> I just took a red in your face. All right, for scoring the highest with a single card, I'm not going to get that. Maybe... Because right now I'm getting that one. For each green, gain three. I don't have any greens. I think I'll do this one. I might get the highest with a single card. I mean, I have it right now because I'm scoring the seven. Let's see what he does. Win all ties, he built. Well, that's interesting. All right, this is for a set. That's not going to happen. I don't have the set, but that's the only card to build. And he builds this one. All right, so that one's going to go off. All right, well, that wasn't too bad, actually. 23 to 3. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, which one do I want to keep here? Hmm. I think I'll keep this majority of cards with only one card. So I'm going to keep the mole hill. Oh, I'm going to take one out of the game. Uh, I think I'll take out this maze of the damned. 
That's so cool to see those things just disappear like that. Silver Age, all right. So I see that there's two yellows, one red, I think I'm going to take this, this one here. It gives me points for having the most in yellow. He already has a yellow though, but I want to deny him that. That's kind of a jerky thing to do, but that's ah, a computer. What does John know? For majority in green, but I just took green. I took the only green. For each green, get three points. These are all blues. I'll take that one. And he built a red card. Alright, so I have the most greens and I don't think there is any more greens. For scoring the highest single card, for the majority of red, get seven. And for each blue, get three. Now I could take this for each blue, get three. Which will give me three points, or I can deny him from seven. I think I need to deny him from seven. That doesn't score me anything, but I can't afford to have him. This is not a really good point scoring round. I need another blue. Majority in purple gains seven. And for each set of yellow, red, and purple, I don't have that. I guess I'll take this. That doesn't score me anything. And actually, wow, I'm getting a very low score this time. For each blue, gain three. But he doesn't have any blues. Well, he did much better than I did that time. I only got three points, but he got 15 points. Still winning, 26 to 18, but that was just not a good round at all. Yeah, you're right. It's important to hate draft in this one. Uh, it's crowd surfing's plan for tomorrow. Is this due to virtual con? It starts on the 24th. Yes. Yes, it is. I think... I'm going to take this one here. And I'm going to get rid of one of the blues. Alrighty, let's see. What do we got here? For majority of that, gain seven points. For each green, gain three. I'm gonna take this green. I'm hoping that there's no other green on his side. For each suit you don't have, gain three. All right, I'm gonna to try to make sure I give him as many suits as possible. Oh good, there's no other greens, great. So then it says having the most yellows. I'm gonna take a yellow right here. This gives me three for each blue, but I don't care. Good, I'm winning most yellows now. For each yellow, gain three points. Yeah, he had to take that, because if he hadn't, that was the very next one I was going to take. All right, so there's no more yellow, so I have the yellow one won. Now I get for most reds, although I'm not going to get that one. So then I get three points for each blue, and this one also gives me three points for each green. This gives me five for a set of that. I doubt he'll give that back. Scoring the highest card... I might get that one. Yeah, I'm going to try this. I think scoring the highest card, I might pull that one off. I mean, I'm currently scoring the highest card. 
It would be useful to have the option to see what cards have been removed in previous rounds so you know how the suit balance stands. There may be a way to do that, actually. No, maybe not. Alright. Well, he's going to win red. This is the majority of blue. And this is for a set of yellow, red, purple, which I don't have. He does have this, so I have to hate draft that one. Because I can't afford him to get those nine points. And he took the blue-green one because I would grab that. Oof. There's a lot of points in this one. Okay, for each green, get three points. Which also gives me three points. Like, glad he gave that one back, actually. For majority in blue, yeah. Alright, so let's see how many points we each scored here. So I got seven, six, three. I didn't have the single highest card. Why not? Oh, because he got a nine card. So he got more points than me. It's If only... It's only because I wailed on him in the Copper Age that I beat him at 23 points to 3 in that first age. But he beat me soundly in the second two, but not enough to win the game. Ooh, a new portrait unlocked. I've got some experience. I don't even know what that means. Now I need to build the mana well. Why would I... <laughs> That's so dumb to me. All right, let's try again. This time we're going to play against Stacy on AI. Oh, wait. Hang on. How do I quit the game? Because I want to... Oh, I... can I change there? Yeah, I can. I have money to buy portraits? How weird. So weird. Fine, I'll buy this guy. Alright, let's go back. Alright, take a look here. Now I'm playing a much harder opponent. She'll make sense. For majority in purple, gain 7. For majority in green, gain 7. For majority in yellow, gain 7. Win all ties. We're scoring. Alrighty. Um, I don't got a lot to go on here. I'm gonna take this one here. Majority in purple. Let's hope his her hand has a lot of purple in it. Okay. So someone's asking how this game compares to Tides and Madness. They're very very similar games, except some cards have madness, and you can lose. By going mad. So even if you're losing point-wise, you can try to make your opponent go mad. And, of course, they had no purple cards in their hand. Great. For majority in red, get seven. For each red, gain three. Well, he got a much nice... For majority of suits and only one card, gain eight. Well, actually, I, I think that's the only blue card, so that's worth it. So they're going to get seven if they have the most greens. I don't feel like I should give them that. So, no. Hate drafting! Double the amount of your most numerous suits. Majority in red gains seven points. Ah, uh, I don't want to give him either one of those. I'll take this one. Mostly because that makes that one go off. Woof. Stacy's whooping on me here. I win ties. Woo. Alright. 
I scored seven points only, but Stacy got 19 points there. I think I'm going to keep this one because there seems to be a lot of red cards. And I think I'm going to chuck the molehill. I think the music would change from, from copper to silver to gold age. Alright, so that says if I have the most reds, I'll get seven points. And if they had the most greens. Ah, uh, let's just get a red dead. Oh, they built a red too? Boo! Woo, 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 woo. Maybe it was the all ties building. Hmm. All right. Fine, I'm gonna build a green building then. How's that feel? Is the win all ties car in it? Yes, I'm taking that. Now I got the most red. For each blue, get three points. Uh, and also the nine went off. Wow, she's doing really well. Okay. For each set of blue green, gain five for scoring the highest single card with the game. No, she's going to get that. So I'll take this, even though it's not going to do anything for me. Hmm. For majority in purple. Majority in yellow. Well, at least that goes off, right? Ah! Uh, Stacy's 26. To my 17. Man, Stacy whoop, whooping on me here. I'm gonna have to have like one phenomenal final round to win this game. I will take the golden ziggurat as a relic. And I'm going to chuck that one. Come on. All right, so most reds and most yellows. I'm probably going to take that win all ties, depending on what, what she plays. For a set of yellow, red, purple. Oh, I can't stop her from getting all that stuff. For each shoot, you don't have gained three points. Now I'm going to get a lot of suits. For each purple, gain three. For each blue, gain three. For each green, gain three. Hmm. I'm going to take that one. Gives me another red. Problem with taking that one is... It's for each suit you don't have. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. So she's trying to go for they have one of every suit. I just need to make sure I, I stop her from getting a suit. Let's win all ties. She will not... 
I need to deny her from getting a yellow. Yep. Hate drafting! Then she took that for me, because that would have got me some points, but... For each shit of blue-green, which I don't have any of. Well, whatever. For each green, and it gives her some more points. Yeah, I got I beat her in the third round, but not enough to... Not enough to win the game. Alrighty. Well, I felt I feel okay that I stymied her in the final round, but you got to win like two out of three rounds, or at least win big in one of the rounds. Yep. Cool. All right, we're gonna play one more time. We're gonna play again medium because I'm afraid to play hard. Um, all right. For a set, get 13. I don't really like that set card. It's hard to get one of each color. For majority in green, for majority in red, for each yellow, and for each set of blue green. Hmm. I think I'll go for the. See, I, I don't know what she has. There's three purples. I'm gonna do the blood tiered thing. But we're gonna have to wait to see what she has. For each suit you don't have. Yeah, that's a good one to start off with. Especially in the first wrap, because all the suits aren't there. Well, this says if I have the majority of greens. I think I'm gonna take that because that's a good card for her to take, but it also starts me off on that majority of greens thing. She also took... We, that's kind of a weird card for her to take. She took the one for each suit she doesn't have and the one for having every suit. Well, at this point... For each set of blue, green, gain five. For each yellow, get three. And for each red, get... Most red gets seven. Yeah, none of these are good. I'll take that one. Yeah, she's going to score points off that first card. There's not a lot of ways for me to stop her. But happily, I am going to win all ties. But I won't have the most reds. I get a point for every red and for having the most reds. Why did I not... Dr oh. oh, whatever. At least I'll win that tie. Alright. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Give me some extra points for having yellows. And that forces her to take... That's a non-suit card. Oh, for scoring the highest single card. Did she get the highest single card? I don't think she did. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. I can live with that for an opening thing. Which card should I keep? Someone mentioned earlier they always keep the win all ties. Not a bad idea. Let's start with that. Win all ties. And let's get rid of... Let's get rid of the God's Baths here. All right, she wins if she gets the most blues. So I'm already tempted to take this blue here. Although this one gives me three. For each purple get three, for most greens get seven, for the most reds get seven. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad card. I know that I'm starting out by hate drafting, but meh, Stacy will get over it.
She wants the most yellows. But I already have one yellow. For each suit you don't have, gain three. I already have two of the suits. This would give me a third. She's going to be tempted to do that. For each set of blue, green. Highs with a single card. For each blue, gain three. I think I'm going to do that because not only not denies her. Wait, 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 wait. No, this is the one I wanted to play. That also denies her from getting the most yellows. That's not going to happen now. And she won't get most blues either because she doesn't have any and I win ties. Now she's going for most red. So she has one red. All I got to do is take a red and I'll take that from her also. And this gives me three points for each purple. This gives me three points for each yellow. And this gives me a majority of green. Oh, she'll take that one. So I could take this one and give me six points. Or I could take this one, which denies her having the most red, and gives me... Yes, I'm going to do that. And it's a guaranteed three points because I'm going to get one of those purple cards back. That was a little jerky, but... You know, what do you do? Sometimes you got to be a jerk in the game. Oh, she had a purple anyway. But I'm going to get that other purple back. Free shoot you don't have. Oh, she can have that for sure. Although that will give her the reds. She'll win if I give her that card. That will give her 10 points if I give her that card. Yeah, it's only a few points for me, but it denies her points. Man, what a jerk I've been. I'm not even like trying. I'm not even playing. That's one thing about this game you got to realize. You are going for the guts on your opponent. Okay, nice. That one gives me some points. Did she score the single highest card? Yeah, she did. All right. But that's okay. 15 to 15 is still a tie, which means I'm still ahead by seven points. Woo-wee! Is it really jerky if you're playing against the AI? Yeah, not really. And that's why I don't. Th that's one thing I do like about computers, because you can be as mean as you want to them, and you don't feel about anyone's hurt feelings. Alrighty, so I start with the yellow. For each yellow, get three points. It's a good way to start off. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start with the vestibule. And then I think I'm gonna kill the Citadel of Prophets. That's like one of my favorite effects in a game ever. So she wants most blues and most yellows. So it's tempted to take this one right off the bat. There's that for each suit you don't have, garbage. For each purple, get three points. That's tempting. I think I'm going to try this Roof of the World thing. So that doubles my purples and my yellows, currently. If I only take one of each suit, that's pretty powerful. I gotta be careful. Majority in red gets seven. Okay, still doing okay. All right, free shoot you don't have. Blah, blah, blah. Stacy does like that card. Hmm. I think my thing's going to backfire me here. It is going to backfire. Oh, well. Scoring the highest single card. Eight. For majority of suits with only one card. Ooh, do I have that at all? No, I'm just gonna take this one. It's 
It's going to be close here, but unfortunately... Unfortunately, I'm going to get beat down here because... I'm forced to take another yellow. So this will double my yellows, unfortunately, but then all my other cards are not doubled. Mmm. I was kind of gambling for majority, so it's only one card. All right, so I got 30. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that was a good round. Stacy also had a good round, but Stacy needed a better round than me, so I beat Stacy! Woohoo! I got some more XP. I don't know what that means, but. Oh, I got 200 coins. What does that mean? That means I can buy this background. Why not? Woohoo! I got more money. I'll buy this lady too. Yeah! But wait a minute. I saw a paintbrush there. Oh, that's what that means. I thought you could actually like paint stuff. Statistics. One game, one win. Two games, one win for medium. That seems legit. All right, cool. All righty, folks. Well, that is that. Thanks so much for watching. That's Tides of Time from Portal Games. That was pretty fun. I got to say, I'm kind of ambivalent on the, the card game itself, but this was a lot more fun. I think because you can see all the connections and it does a lot of stuff for you. I'm really starting to get sold on this app stuff, which is good because a week from tomorrow, we'll be doing our top 10 apps of all time. Which ones have made my cut? I've played a lot of them now, so that's kind of exciting. Um, nothing more live today, folks, until tonight, our 9 p.m. live chat. And then, of course, we got more live stuff coming tomorrow. Like I said, crowd surfing and uh, corner to corner. And um, yeah, and then there's going to be like live games and stuff throughout the week. And then next week, Summer Spectacular. So much stuff. Five top ten lists. Ah, just lots of cool goodies. Um, and that's what I'm going to go work on now to get that stuff ready. So until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. Thanks so much for watching What's Happening on the Dice Tower.